Breaker Broke 23. This is a real quick video showing how I have adapted a modern high resolution Bluetooth receiver to a car stereo. So if you have like an old, uh, old school car stereo uh, that was a CD player controller or CD changer controller, I should say, that being a Kenwood, Alpine, uh, Pioneer, anything that was a head unit that would control a CD changer, you can do this too. You can buy uh, conversion plugs on Amazon. I'll put a link down to there. But basically what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna show you how effective this works. Now, I've been running the FIO BTA30 in here for well over a year. However, it kind of annoyed me because every time I turned on my ignition to, uh, to go somewhere, I would have to repair that uh, with my phone. And so uh, I decided to use the Blue Dento B2, which I think honestly is a better sounding receiver anyway. So I'm gonna show you a couple things. I'm gonna show you how it works with the Alpine as well as uh, how I hooked it up. So I don't wanna get caught with any copyright stuff going on, but what I'm gonna show you basically is the unit in operation and really to me most importantly the proper audio level some of the lower end bluetooth receivers do not put out enough rca power to the rcas and what happens is you end up turning your volume up really high on your stereo whether it be a home stereo or car stereo and uh, that's not right because you're losing all of your headroom and uh, at that point your amplifier is probably halfway to distortion anyway. So let's turn on the ignition to the vehicle. Just gonna run it in the accessory mode. Okay, so my, my phone is already paired to the Blue Dento. What I like to do here is I have Cirrus satellite radio in my main car, but I use the Cirrus satellite radio app on my cell phone and then I can Bluetooth, send it to uh, my Bluetooth receiver. So in an old school uh, vehicle that uh, does not have Cirrus satellite, you can. So on the Alpine, we have a few things here. We'll start up here with source. So this is the on, off, and source switch. My first source is the tuner. Name that wave tone at 103.1, the wave. Okay, then I have CD in here. And then we have auxiliary, which is what the Blue Dento is going through. And um, so I'll just hit play here. Okay, and you know, like I say, I just don't wanna get into, have any issues here. However, as you just heard, the Bluetooth device is actually louder than my other two sources, uh, FM stereo and, um, the CD player. Now I have the volume on my phone jacked up all the way, so I could probably turn it down to about halfway and get the same result, or, or, or at least they would be even. Not quite. Okay, so I'll turn it up a little bit more. Let's see, I don't wanna get into copyright issues here. Let's see, so I'll just turn the phone up a little bit more. We'll go and we'll check these levels again. So we have tuner. Let's say 15 on there. Expires 5:31:23. There's the disc, then we'll, go, then we'll go over to the Bluetooth. Okay, so as you can see, it is actually uh, louder than the other two sources, which is great. It's not overdriving the receiver um, inputs or anything like that, so we're not getting any weird distortion or anything like that. And let me let me tell you my theory in a, in a non-technical way. Why the auxiliary input to this is so sensitive. I believe that uh, uh, back in the day when we were running, you know, we were running like what, 17 to 20 foot uh, DIN cables from the head unit to the trunk of the vehicle. What happens is you lose uh, signal. You'll lose signal from the CD player. So what I think they've done on a lot of these is they made the input sensitivity a little more uh, sensitive than normal than say just the RCA's plugged in to uh, the back of the stereo. So um, anyway, we get a we get um, a great uh, signal. Uh, we have a great signal to noise ratio between this unit and our volume control and the internal amplifier. Um, it's just a really good way to go. So anyway, uh, the Blue Dento B2 
is uh, my go-to unit for the car stereo. And just real quick, what I have here is I have I have my RCA outputs coming out from the Blue Dento and they go into my DIN converter cord. And like I say, I'll leave a link to that below. I also have an external antenna hidden behind my dashboard for extra range. And I can go about 35 to 45 feet away from my car stereo with my phone and still get tunes. So we can bother everybody at the beach or at the campground, that'll be nice. And then um, I used a uh, 12 volt to 5 volt adapter on the back that's actually hooked up to the amplifier output trigger lead of this. You could also hook it to your um, your accessory switch. Now with the FIO and stuff, I used to mount, I actually had that mounted in the middle of my pocket, but I wanted to show you guys this before I actually purposely do it. I usually shim this in here with something, but uh, I'm going to put it off to the side of my little Toyota pocket here so I have a little bit of room to stuff whatever I need into there. But uh, yeah, anyway, that's what I do. This is uh, reviving an old school car stereo uh, with modern Bluetooth capability. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave questions or comments down below. And if you would like a more detailed of this video, like behind the dash or behind the scenes, I will show you exactly wire for wire how I made this happen. All right, everybody, cheers and thanks for watching.